shopping online. Welcome back to Kids WB Sundays on Go. We threw out a challenge to this man right here. Yeah. And his trusty assistant. Nicholas J. Johnson and his trusty assistant. And we wanted to know about kinetic sand. Yes. How does it work? Because we're obsessed What makes with it, it stick together like that and what makes it so much fun? So, so you're going to tell cool. us. And I understand you might have a little competition for us as well. Yeah, you threw down a challenge to me. Yeah. In order to explain exactly how this cool sand works, yes. I'm going to throw down a challenge to you. Okay. I'm going to give you guys 20 seconds, yeah. just 20 seconds, okay. to build as many awesome sand castles as you can. Out of so, kinetic sand? Uh, no, no, I'll, out of regular sand. Okay. So, so you've got a tray of sand here, you've got a tray of sand here. Sure. I'm going to say, ready, set, go. You can use what the moulds if you like. What do we win? You win bragging rights and all the sand you can eat. Okay. Totally worth it. All right, are you ready? Can I use bragging the rights? sand in the glass? You can use the sand in the glass, you can use all of your, that's your sand, they don't steal other people's sand. You can use the moulds. Okay. Are you ready? Here we go. go. I'll do the countdown. Ready? Oh, he's off. Quick. The countdown started. Okay, so as many as you can do. Oh, brilliant. I'll see what you're doing. Okay, Good excellent. Thing. So you can lift that up. Brilliant. Excellent. Okay, no, no. So, Ron, you want to actually build a castle. Do you see these amazing ones crossed yeah, over I'm here like it. that? This sounds, it's excellent. Really brilliant. Solid. Maybe try, you can try it's the next sand like ones. Like that's nine okay. Mile beach or something. There we go. Really oh, that's top. a nice one there. Okay, oh, you're running yeah, out of time. Here we go. Oh, there's five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Oh, look at that, amazing. One, two, three. Mwah. Fantastic. That is and the you've got Eiffel Tower. That is the Eiffel Tower yes. of sand sculptures. That's amazing. Now, Lauren, what, what happened? Mine? Nothing, nothing. Well, happened. look, it's impossible. It is impossible, and that is how this works. Let me explain. Mm. So, regular sand is obviously made up. If there was water there, Lauren. You could have dipped a little oh, water. There's a little yeah. bit of water there. No and water was that. the secret. Stitch so, let's nothing. imagine these are grains of sand. You can see they don't stick together very well because they're dry. Yep. Now, water. Uh, isn't very sticky either and yet we know of course that if you wet the sand just like I'm gonna wet these bits of paper here mm -hmm. and stick them together like that then you can see obviously they stick together wow. and the reason why they stick together is surface tension so it's a little bit like a plunger or a suction cap uh -huh. and they stick together so here yeah. you can make it stick so is that wet sand that is wet sand there wet sand it all sticks together mm -hmm. but of course just like you can break this bond here by just pulling it apart you can break the bond here just by hey, 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 hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Castles now, Shane. Sorry, yeah. they were nice before though. <laughs> now, of course, our kinetic sand is a little bit different. It is bonded together, but rather than using water, they use what they say on the box is 2% magic. magic. Yeah. Now, my theory is that that 2% magic is a special elastic polymer. Oh, so, polymer. that's right. That's yes. right. So rather than being held by water, which is a bit like you know sticky tape and just yes. pulls apart, uh -huh. they're held together by. Imagine them held together, for example, by rubber bands. So, oh. for example, if I take this, as you can see there, as I sort of stretch it out, you can yes. see it sort of it falls apart. So it's it bonded together by something elastic uh -huh. and stretchy, and that's why as it comes apart, those polymers do eventually mm. break. But first of all, they stretch. A little bit like ah. if you're cooking with dough, you know, you sort of stretch right, out the yes. dough and then it snaps. Yes. That's right. So wow. it's that stretchy stuff is what's joining the sand together. So it's elastic polymer. That's, That's what exactly I thought right. it was. Yes. Right. That was uh, yeah, so it's, it's all Oops. the simplest explanation. Well, we were talking about it? this the other day and I said, you know what? I reckon it's elastic polymer. She did, and he she just said, said that, me. and I said, I think you're not far. <laughs> yeah. so I think someone is telling think. fibs in this story. This kinetic sand is sure seriously who. so cool, isn't it? And now we know how it works. It's even cooler because you can kind of yeah, see it almost stretch. You can actually stretch. see. That's right. You can see it stretch. And Crawl's so excited about the water and paper. <laughs> right. well Super, done. Simple things and simple Super minds. Super assistant. <laughs> hey, yeah, as you know, Nick is our resident science guy. And if you'd like more information on Nicholas J. Johnson, you can head to funnybones.com.au. There's plenty of cool science experiments on there, Nick. We have a special treat for you to say thank you for coming on. Oh, and tell me that pillow thing. Thank you. Thank you so much for teaching us so thank much cool you. science. And do you have any words of wisdom before we get to Halloween week tomorrow? Do I have any words of wisdom? For us? Yes, like absolutely. Stay away from the ghosts and stuff? That's right. It's not a proper scare unless someone wets their pants. That is my oh, special technique. You've got to learn. Game on, wow. Crawf. Game What about on. if you wet your paper? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, thank you so much for joining us. Well, you here, will you stick around and watch Batman Brave in the Bowl? I would love to. Absolutely right, love it's to. It's coming up after the break. Wet oh, frisbee. Yeah. A wet frisbee. A wet frisbee. Oh, it's not a... Stop. I've got that on my pillow. It's Halloween week at Kids W. <laughs> 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 Magic Tony drops by to treat us to some Halloween magic. Hey, 
Oh, hello. <laughs> Resident zoologist Chris Humphrey brings in some spooky animals. <laughs> and don't miss Gonk's trick or treat where you can win some magnificent prizes. All week it'll be Halloween fun here at Kids WB Weekdays. Starting tomorrow. Meet Yoshi.